We're continuing with Sagio on uh, the uh, Poems of a Mountain Home, part two. Anyway, so we pick up on Mount Yoshino snowflakes scattering down from cherry limbs one of those years when blossoms will come late. We're still reading in spring. Page 35, I'll forget the trail I marked out on Mount Yoshino last year. Go searching for blossoms in directions I've never been before. So he's forgotten his trail and he's going to go on a new route. I'll forget the trail I marked out on Mount Yoshino last year. And go searching for blossoms in directions I've never been before. What? Oh, I don't know. He just seems. It's in writing. He's using the blossom as an excuse to write poetry. <laughs> the purpose of the blossom is just for poetry. That's what one poet said. <laughs> Since the day I saw Mount Yoshino's blossoming treetops, my body's one place, my heart in another. See these Japanese poems, they'll take out one object, sort of. They say that there may be just one noun. They've done a whole bunch of curbs on their feeling about it. Since the day I saw Mount Yoshino's blossoming treetops, my body's one place, my heart in another. Why is that? Blossoming, tree, tree, blossoming treetops there. Did I read it twice already? The Japanese Yashino Yama Koji no Hana. It's from the SKS, uh, which means the Shankasu. <laughs> spring, we're still in springtime. Started out with spring. I'd have it first one way, then the reverse. Tree tops. You haven't heard tree tops? When we usually say, we say usually blossoming trees, we don't say. Oh, well, you, it's in English, you have treetops. But he's looking at a distance of the many of the trees at the treetops. So maybe you're looking at the mountain. See, he's looking at Mount, the whole mountain. I'd have it first one way, then the reverse, in blossom viewing spring. Never mind nighttime, and moon viewing autumn away with days. I'd have it first one way, then the reverse, in blossom viewing spring. Never mind nighttime. In moon viewing autumn, do away with days. Do you understand that? You're in charge of the analysis. <laughs> What's the analysis? Yeah. And Burton Watson is the translator. Yeah. Uh, springtime. If only I could divide myself, not miss a single tree. Now he wants to become multiple. No, he wants to be multiplied. And then he wants to have like 10 copies of himself go out hiking. I remember when I wanted to have 10 manifestations of myself. Well, one would play the piano and one would, <laughs> one would write poetry. One sits in meditation. 
One, uh, one does some cooking. Yeah, and if you go on shore of them, to do the one same. goes hiking, looking at blossoms. One's, one could go to Japan. <laughs> hey. One's to India. If I only I could divide myself, not miss a single tree, see the blossoms at their best on all 10,000 mountains. God, he's ambitious. For a Buddhist, this is like horrible. He's hungry. No wonder that priest wanted to split his head open. This is like no satisfaction. Like if I was the priest, I would I have definitely. No satisfaction. I would smack him on the head and tell him to meditate. Because you're jealous. Smack him one. You're jealous of how he feels. All he does is wander around looking at blossoms. The concept, conceit of dividing the body into countless selves derives from Buddhist scriptures in which the Buddhas are frequently depicted doing this. Sagio perhaps borrowed it from the four-line poem by the Chinese poet Li Su Yong entitled a poem to send to friends in the capital, the closing lines of which read, if I could change into a million selves, I'd send one to climb each peak and gaze far off towards home. See my Columbia Book of Chinese Poetry, New York, Columbia University Press, 1984. That's Burton Watson. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wanted to live life over one Let's see, one of them, one of my cells, went to Oxford to study Sanskrit. <laughs> the other one went to music school. He doesn't say that he wants to do the city life and he wants to do the mountain life. He wants to do it completely and the flowers. Oh, he just wants, let me read it again. But... He just loves one thing. Right? After every, yeah. She wants to love it uh, All right. many times more. What would you split yourself up to do? I don't know. If only I could divide myself, not miss a single tree, see the blossoms at their best, on all 10,000 mountains, not... He wants to see... You should publish that. Publish it? You it's like this one? Yeah, media. media. Okay, that's a good. We like this one. Let me do it then. You can have it. I, since I'm already divided up into too many selves, with too many. I have too many social media accounts, so I can't divide divide myself up so much. Mm -hmm. Why should my heart? Still harbor this passion for cherry flowers. I who thought I had put all that behind me. Now, did we encounter this thing where he mm -hmm. was having an emotion? Oh, I had an emotion. I thought he had, he thought he had grown out of having an emotion. <laughs> this is, shows the difference in translations. Hana ni somu. Ko, 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 yo, no, ikachi. Why should my heart still harbor this passion for cherry flowers? I, who thought I had put all that behind me. He's saying he thought he had advanced to a, a highly advanced Buddhist monk. So he shouldn't have any feelings about a simple cherry flower. That's, right? <laughs> The priest is going to have to hit him. All right. But why he put behind him, I don't know. Oh, why he did? He, remember he left the capital. He may have had a uh, failed love affair. He was in love with some court woman who could inaccessible. He left. He comes. No, he said he left behind him the flowers. That's why he's still in love with the flowers. And he put the... Yeah. Cherry blossom, though he thought it was all behind. Well, why not? I mean, you're living in a hut in the woods. So, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to yeah, not but love why the flowers. Why did he decide to put it behind? He's just surprised at his emotions. He shouldn't. He wants to divide himself into 
someone be able to employ so many men. Yes, yeah, strong, you know, strong feelings of, about like beauty. That that's maybe that's why he's a famous poet. <laughs> Let us die in spring under the blossoming trees. Now he's going to die. Let it, let it be all around that full moon of Kashar Rocky Month. Kasaragi is the Japanese name for the second month of the lunar year. Shukamuni Buddha is said to have died on the 15th day of the second month. Fagyo wish fulfilled the wish expressed in the, his poem in a striking manner by dying on the 16th day of the second month of 1190, a feat that greatly impressed the people of his time who were familiar with this poem. My goodness. He, here he's saying, let me die in spring under the blossoming trees. Let it be around that full moon of Kasaragi month. Oh my God, he writes this poem and then he dies on that day. The same day he said the Say, poem? The same no, no, he wrote the poem. Later. He wrote the poem. And then, and then it says here, Segyo fulfilled the wish expressed in his poem in a striking manner by dying on the 16th day of the second month of 1190, a feat that greatly impressed the people of this time who were familiar with this poem. So that means he did die a lot of day, a lot of years later on. Well, the if the poem time, the poem is the published, the poem is published in the poems of a mountain home, which I think is published before he died, and so he's published this yeah, poem. Yeah, because they're familiar with the poem. So the poem. And then it says Sukamuni Buddha is said to have died on the 15th day of the second month. He died on the 16th day of the second month. Under the blossoming trees as well, which is springtime, under the trees, right after Buddha. No wonder people are impressed. Huh, that's impressive. Uh, I don't know. I suppose some people can be be alive and then they just let go and die when they want, maybe. We're in a relative range. I don't know. He died of beauty. Right? He died of oh, extreme yeah. beauty. <laughs> extreme of anything. Extreme can, beauty. Can killed him. Could be the cherry blossoms killed him. Mm -hmm. We got another poem from Spring. To the dead, make offerings of cherry flowers. So I would say, if someone were to mourn me when I'm gone, it says, to the dead make offerings of cherry flowers. So I would say, if someone were to mourn me when I'm gone. Otaki literally means a Buddha, but it is used in common parlance to refer to a deceased person, since according to Amas, Billy Paul, who died in the faithful in time, became Buddha heard. So we have, what's nice about it is this, we have a lot of nature and poetry combined with Buddhism. Kasegyo is a poet and a Buddhist. I don't know where all this for 15 minutes go. It seems they go fast when we read Segyo. Reading from Burton Watson version. 